Name something more Kelsey. It was something I've never actually really done before. I'm channeling my inner Jane this workout. Hello, my name is Kelsey O'Connor and welcome to my channel. If you didn't know, this is a fitness channel. I do fitness challenges. I have two girlfriends who are also fitness goals. Yes, three girls who like working out, kicking butt. What does that read? Charlie's Angels! So we decided to train like we were Charlie's Angels for a month. A little background of the three of us. Hi, my name is Kelsey O'Connor. If you didn't know me, I'm a former college basketball player. Now does crazy challenges revolving around fitness on YouTube. Here are my two best friends, Ash and Amy. We also have a fourth, but she's a very high demand nursing student, so we did not include her. <laughs> Ash is recent kinesiology degree graduate, so yeah, she knows her stuff. She did multiple sports growing up, and then she also does the fitness thing. She's done bodybuilding championships. She is very committed to healthy lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. She actually started a YouTube channel, so you can go support her there. And then my girlfriend Amy is a former high-level hockey player, and she went on to do bodybuilding competitions, fitness competitions, and just like engulf herself in the fitness community. And just to sum it up, Amy's that girl you go on Instagram and say, Goals. She's got the butt we all squat for. <laughs> Many years ago, that's actually what brought us all together is the gym, is we all met weightlifting and that was kind of our thing and that's where we became really close friends. That brought us together. We stayed together and the fitness thing kind of went like, Ugh, we all took our own little rope. For myself, of course, I transitioned fitness into this channel. For Ash, she transitioned into just incorporating weightlifting into her everyday life and just enjoying getting to the gym. And then Amy's very much the same. She has a very high stress job. So she's balancing just having a fit lifestyle with a kind of nine to five. Ash is a former student who is balancing with it. And so we haven't done fitness together. We used to all be kind of students. We could do it at the same time. And we thought, let's come together and be workout partners again, just from other sides of the world. So yes, if you didn't know, I live in Toronto. Amy lives in Edmonton. Ash lives in Vancouver. So this is how we're all gonna work out together despite the massive, massive distance because Canada's huge, you know, like it's a big, big country. Once upon a time, there were three very different little girls. Charlie's Angels. There's been two movies, and so we thought, let's do a little throwback. We're gonna do two weeks of the old school Charlie's Angels training program, and two weeks of the new, I don't wanna say improved, because I haven't seen it. It could be improved, it could be worse. I don't know, fitness programs. And we assigned everyone a character. We let your mind wander for a minute, who we all are. So introducing our Charlie's Angels, we've got my friend Ash, AKA will be playing Lucy Lou. Drum roll, my friend Amy McGinnis will be playing Dylan Sanders, aka Drew Barrymore. I will be playing Natalie Cook, aka Cameron Diaz, because I'm the only blonde. So Cameron says he does boot camp style classes. I'm doing one today at Bolo here in Toronto. Never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. Some classes you do and you like just feel good. Like I'm like, I felt in shape today. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah. I can only say that it feels right. One reason I know I'm Cameron Diaz, though, out of all the Charlie's Angels, is her quote in her fitness routine is just, doesn't like to sit still. Name something more Kelty. That's literally the premise of probably why I created a fitness YouTube channel, because I just wanted an excuse to constantly be burning off the excessive amount of energy I have. Anyone who's like, oh, it just must be for the YouTube and all this, no, ask anyone that's forced to be in a car ride for more than an hour with me. They hate me because I have too much energy. So my parents put me in 100 bazillion sports and I didn't get the premise why they put me in so many sports as a young child. I became an adult, I was like, ah, they were just like, someone burn this energy off. So Cameron, I feel ya. Today I'm going to a workout class called Knockout. And the description is boxing drills and skills to up your cardio, power, and core strength. Back from that kickboxing class, it was very intense. Know that we go live it up, young shot caller. Always been a baller, know that you the one. I can feel it in my heart, yeah, I won't stop charging me going just finished the Pilates class. It was something I've never actually really done before. I know everyone on Kelty's channel and Kelty herself to really promote just moving your body in ways that feel nice. I don't really do that. I just stick with what I know and what I love, which is weight training. 
and doing a exercise like Pilates is really eye-opening because I was the youngest person in the class and I was definitely the least flexible. So thank you Kelty and thank you Charlie's Angel Challenge for making me step outside of my comfort zone and finding something I actually really enjoy doing. point right now in this challenge and I will say that I crushed the first half. I went to probably about six or seven spin classes, went to the gym about four to five times. Well, I'd say that's pretty good. I've definitely made some progress. I can feel my body tightening up. I look a little bit leaner. I feel overall just healthier. My sleep's been better as well as my digestion so that's good so week one and two so when we did the more old school training it was very much focused on like still being able to move and like fight but look good so it's very much being able to move in stilettos and your waist size and that kind of stuff and it was a lot more sexualized which is nothing against those actors or anything i think that was just hollywood in general it was a very much like for females to have to kick butt they still have to be super hot now, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think there's nothing wrong with a girl feeling like she's feminine, looking feminine, and being powerful. On the flip side, I don't think a female should feel she has to look feminine. And so the one kind of cool thing about the new one from what I've seen as like research, how they're training is all their trainers seem to say they want to be able to move, but kick a donkey. I don't want to get demonetized, but you know what butts. But B U T spelled a different way. Do I get demonetized for that? I don't know. All their weight training, there was no real specifics. There was kind of little bits and pieces I could find on the internet. So I meshed it together and made a workout program that all three of us could do together that simulated what they would have done. And so that's what we did. And honestly, I really encourage you guys to do this. If you're like me, your friends live in other places or your schedules don't align, it's like develop the program you all want and do it together. And you can really become accountability buddies even from other sides of the country. Part two. So we are going to the new and improved. Is there work as new and improved? Oh my God, the suspense. So what we did. Week three and four. Transitioning into, I am so bad at names guys. Elena Poland, AKA Naomi Scott. Transitioning into Jane Cano, AKA Ella Balinska. Guys, I don't know how to pronounce like anyone's name, so please don't take offense. And then transitioning into Sabrina Wilson, AKA Kristen Stewart. Yeah. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right burnt out I'm exhausted it's been tough this has been grind but here's my tip I had my like last set I had a little pity party I said like, I don't want to do this I'm so close just quit you should have a playlist on your Spotify I have a Spotify playlist iTunes whatever and have like five ten songs you don't listen to that often but every once in a while they're just like those you feel like you're in a movie you push through and you just blast that you know it's something simple just push-ups that's what I had today just push-ups. He just, he just blasted it, and I was like, this is the end of the movie, this is the final sprint. Going on vacation next week, so rest is coming. I've been working towards that end game. <laughs> but God, like, cause I know I'm like a few days away from burnout right now, but it feels real good right now. Physically, oh, exhausted. Mentally, I feel accomplished. Let's make that playlist. It's all right, it's all right. It's crazy, like, I know nothing about boxing or 
anything and we started literally with the basic fundamentals. It was so incredible. Had such a workout. This is just for us now. We know I ain't balling yet. Hoes wanna holler or no, I don't call them back. Girl, let me see you hold it down. We gon' have a blast. Cause I just wanna know what you're gonna do with all of that. Ain't gotta say a word. I know what's up, you can have it all, watch me rip it off I'll admit it, you got me feeling hella love Even when it's going down, know that we gon' live it up Young shot caller, always been a baller Know that you the one, I can feel it in my heart Yeah, I won't stop charging, we going come harder I can see you and I, way beyond the stars, girl I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only Okay guys, you see that? That's where I'm going to right now. I'm channeling my inner Jane this workout, so we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys after. I just got back from champs, you guys. I'm freaking dead. I literally sweat so much. <laughs> Last two weeks were a bit of a different story. I struggled with staying consistent. My training intensity went down a little bit. I skipped a couple workouts and it wasn't eating as good. So the last two weeks were just not as great as the first two, but you know what? I definitely persevered through the last two. So I still got my butt to the gym. I still tried my hardest, but it just wasn't as good as the first two. So overall, I will say this challenge went well. The amount that I trained during this challenge was a lot, more than what I personally like, but it definitely pushed me to my limits. I'm just happy with how things went. After a month, what happened? First of all, it was just fun. It was really nice to have a goal and work towards it, but have someone to work towards with it with you. Now, I come from a team background, so do Ash and Amy in a lot of ways, and it's something we really lose as adulthood, I feel and why people can get into tough ruts and what I really encourage and I've said it so many times on channel I feel group classes are really good for this but this is an option for someone who doesn't have group classes or access or just doesn't have the budget is create a community around fitness and create that team and those girls that support you I cannot begin to explain how blessed I feel every single day to wake up and be able to text my girlfriends and their support their sisters to me they are my team the amount of times you guys don't know I've like cried about my YouTube channel my life or whatever and they've just been there to encourage me and to have girlfriends that support each other and truly encourage each other is the most amazing thing and I think that's what we love about things like Charlie's Angels is just seeing girls coming together to kick butt because there's this cliche that girls are all catty that we don't like each other that you know we're always in competition and i think that's going to just be human nature like guys oh guys are also known for that it's it's just human nature competition but on top of that is team and competition so i feel you know charlie's angels would come together to kick butt and fight the bad guys but we come together to become the best versions of ourselves it's just something so nice of having that team aspect and that's what first we became friends me ash and amy and just that team aspect and we just held on to it even when we didn't have a common goal even when we weren't training in the same place in this day and age we don't really have religion like we used to growing up we don't have communities where like i live in downtown toronto and it's a very 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 lonely city and i think if you can find fitness to bring you together and create that team, that community, your place. It's gonna make fitness fun and it's gonna be your home and it will become a habit and you will do it every day. Just mentally, I've been very alone, very hardworking. It, it's, it's okay. Uh, I'm like a week away from burnout, I keep saying. Like, if I were to keep going to the straight for another week, I would have another mental breakdown video. <laughs> but I've been a balance. This was really nice that even though I have to be alone in a lot of ways right now, is I still have my girlfriends every day to be like, how are you doing? Check in and we have this goal to work towards. And, I hope you guys find that. So if you don't have someone next door to you, text your friends, text them a workout program, even text them and be like, guys, let's do 100 squats a day for a month and keep each other accountable. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, if you guys are new here, feel free to hit subscribe. Smash this like button. Apparently I always say hit the like button as you two are supposed to say smash the like button and you can check out some of my other videos. Yeah, guys, I just realized I can do this. See this? This is a video I used to do, and thanks to YouTube technology, you can just press right now and go check those out. Maybe I'm not really good at technology. I'm not circling it, but I'm trying to circle it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you guys have a crappy day, don't worry. You're one step away from having a great day. Pet and dog. Have a great day, pet and dog. Love you guys. Bye.